process in 19 and our enterprise end to end implementation playlist. So in this one, uh, we're going to go ahead and create some additional uh, roll up fields. First, we'll create some on the job. So what I'd like to do is I would like to create a number of applications for the job. So let's collect that number and that, let that be a roll up field. That'll be a whole number and the behavior will be roll up. Next thing we'll do is we'll add that related entity, which is the applications. And our aggregation will just simply count all of the um, applications that are in place. That works perfectly. So we'll check that out in a little bit. So I'd like to go to the company now. I'd like to create a column here on the company. I'd like to add a new column and call it number of jobs. And I'd like to make that a whole number. And I'd like that to be a roll up field. And from this layer, I want to look at the associated jobs. And then I want to <clears throat> count all of the jobs. Save and close. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna publish our company uh, table here. We're also going to publish our job table. And the other thing we're going to do is on both of these, we're going to make sure these columns are represented on the form. So on the job form, let's make sure we have that number of applications column. Okay, perfect. So we got a number of applications. Here's that column. We'll save and publish. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back here and we're going to go over to our other table, the company, go to the form and we'll click on the account form. And we just want to make sure that we add our number of and here it is number of jobs now number of jobs is going to go under this jobs section here for now so it'll go right under this active jobs area for now so we'll save and publish this and then now we want to test out this functionality real quick just make sure that we can calculate these numbers properly based on the uh, number of jobs that are associated with the company and the number of applications that are associated with a job. So let's go ahead and test this out. So what I'm always gonna do is I'm gonna do an F12 to kind of clear our cache and reset. So from the jobs perspective, I can Click a job here. And then I can open up a new application. Now, let's look at engagement right now. Number of applications, if I click this roll up and it calculates, there are zero. If I go ahead and create a new application, I can do that, test application. I can choose a candidate. and put something here. And assuming this all worked properly, what I can do now is go back to that job, go to engagement, and I should have one number of applications. And so I do. So if I go back and I go ahead and then create another application, let's just confirm, test job or application two.
we'll just confirm that this is in fact rolling up those values every 12 hours or when I click this. Perfect, so that works just as I would expect. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the company section. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up Activision Blizzard, sure, why not? And then I'll look at jobs. And the number of jobs number hasn't been refreshed. It happens every 12 hours. There's one job in the system according to this. Well, I see one row for a job, so that makes sense. Let's create another job. Activision Supervisor. And we'll just add a random number here. Just random information here. And so we save this. And now we go back to the company. We go to the job section here and we update our number of jobs. We have two jobs available, which is exactly in alignment with what we see here. So there you have it. That's how you handle your roll up fields. You just have to understand the relationality between your parent and your child. The company uh, is a parent of the job. So it can look at those jobs and calculate and roll them up and, and count them, kind of like in Excel. Um, and the job can look at applications because applications are also children of the job. So in this case, thank you so much for watching very much and um, looking forward to the new year. Uh, I appreciate you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe. Take care.